ever felt so overwhelmed with emotion that you can't find the words to explain what you're feeling? Or you've wept to the point that you can't quite catch your breath? There are moments in life that lead us to prayers that are more like unintelligible sobs than well-crafted theological prayers. Hi, I'm Jeanette Salguero with Propel Women, and today's verse is found in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 26. In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. You know, there was a woman in scripture, her name was Hannah, whose pain was so deep that her prayers were interpreted by the priest as drunken babblings. They were not. Hannah replied telling the priest about her discouragement and how she had been praying out of great anguish and sorrow. Our girl Hannah in her moment of deep pain, chose to pour out her heart to the Lord. Friend, it is in these moments when we feel weak, where our prayers are ineffable, beyond words, indefinable, that the Spirit Himself steps into that moment of frailty, that moment of debility, and intercedes for us. I ask you today, take a few minutes, and give yourself permission to pray what your heart deeply feels and rest, rest in the confidence that although no one may understand, God surely 